Hi viewers, welcome to Ganesh's YouTube channel. In this tutorial, I'm going to explain you how to create grids in Tecla Structures 2022 with example, with this PDF example. I'll provide this PDF example in the description. Open this example and practice along with this video. Okay, let's start. Open Tecla Structures with Indian Environment. Now open example. You can see in our example, we have grids 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 grids in horizontal direction. And in vertical direction, we have A, B, C, D grids. You can see we have base spacing here. The spacing between one grid to one grid, we can call it as a bay. And this spacing, we call it as a base spacing. So, 6,000 and 6,000 and 8,000 and 8,000. Now, we have 6,000 here. In vertical direction, we have 5,000, 5,000 and 6,000. Okay. Now, we're going to take this example and we're going to create same grid in Tecla structures. So open Tecla structures to edit grids. You can double click on this grid to open this rectangular grid property window. And in the second option, we have select the grid and right click on mouse and click on here property to open this window. In the third method, you need to select the grid, then use the shortcut alt enter. To open this grid property window you have three methods to open this grid property window okay if you say click on this grid now this grid is highlighted now click on space to deselect to remove this grid selection for example if you are not able to select this grid you need to crash verify here in the filter below of the screen you can see this is the filter we have select grid this should be activated click on here again to deactivate it currently uh, now this grid selection is deactivated so you, you can't able to select this grid you can see you can't able to select this grid so we need to verify here if you are not able to select the grid you should come here at the bottom of screen and you should select this option select grid this option should be activated now you can select the grid you can see now this selection is activated Currently, this window direct modification is activated. So, if you, if, if it is activated, then you can click on it and click on this grid and you can directly modify it. You can say drag and modify like this. Now, click on expand. You can see you can directly drag this grid like this to increase the grid or decrease the grid by using this direct modification currently we don't require direct modification so deactivate this option direct modification now double click on this grid in our example horizontal direction we have spacing here 6000 6000 so you can directly type here first grid on zero so you need to enter here first of all zero and give space and then enter here 6000 and give space 6000 you can enter like this otherwise you can enter we have two 6000 so two into 6000 you can enter like this also give space next we have 8000 two 8000 here so enter here eight two into 8000 give space now next enter 6000 enter here 6000 okay now coming to y direction in y direction we have 5000 to 5000 next 6000 so enter here first you need to enter here zero coordinate zero and then two into 5000 and give space next you need to enter here 6000 in z direction z direction is the elevation so by default we're going to take here for ground floor level 0 and first floor level 5000 and second floor level 10000 now coming to x direction labels in our x direction we have labels grid names here 1 2 3 4 5 6 so you need to enter here 1 space 2 space 3 space 4 space 5 now coming to y direction we have 6 grids so you need to enter here 6 now coming to y direction in y direction we have a b c and d so in to enter here capital a space b space c space d you can see d okay that's it now coming to z direction you need to enter here label names in the z direction also so 
ground floor level zero and first floor level five thousand and second floor level from ground we need to enter here ten thousand so uh, in the z direction labels so this is the level so we need to enter here plus symbol uh, indicates the from ground level so we need to enter plus and plus now click on modify you can see now grid is modified according to our example so close this window here now click on space right click on mouse we draw view you can see this is the mo model box you can see the this cube is the model box so this rectangle should be uh, around this grid so click on space right click on mouse you need to use this option fit work area to entire model click on here you can see you know this rectangular work area space is surrounded by this grid okay now we want to create views so click on grid you can see now grid is selected then right click on mouse use this option create views then click on here along grid lines xy is the plane and zy and xz are the elevation so we need to enter here elevation elevation on grid and select by using the shortcut control a and use the shortcut control c for copy it and remove here and paste control v to paste the same title here at the below now click on create to create views you can see now views are created here now close this window and close this window also to see the view list you can use the shortcut control i to open this view list otherwise click on here window and you can click on here to see the view list otherwise go to click on here view and click on here to view list to open this view list you can see now views are created according to these grids you can see we have elevation on grid 1 2 3 4 5 6 uh, along 6 grids and a b c d uh, from this direction y direction a b c d grids elevations now coming to plans we have plan 0 and first floor uh, plan 5000 and second floor we have plan 10,000 okay uh, for example we're going to open plan at uh, 0 and click on this arrow to open and close this window here you can see currently we are in plan view you can see plan at 0 at the title you can see at the top or click on here window you can see here plan at 0 if you want to see the 3d view you need to click on here 3d view like this if you want to see uh, this both uh, 3d view and plan at 0 then click on here and use this option tile vertically you can see this is the 3d view this title indicates the 3d view and this plan at 0 this is the plan view okay at a time you can use to open nine views for example you can see window and uh, click on here view list and now we're going to open all views so click on the first one and scroll it down and use the shift and click on here to select all views click on here you can see you cannot open more than nine views at the same time so you can only use the use to open only nine views so close it okay and close this window and if you want to see all views at a time then click on window and select this option tile vertically you can see we have nine views at a time in this window okay if you want to maximize any window view then for example we're going to open 3d view then click on maximize here to open 3d view okay click on this window you can see these all in this list are active active views so if you want to close these views then go to view list and click on it and use the shift button and click on here and use this arrow to shift this view list on other side these are the named views these are the visible views visible views means active views uh, in the background okay. you can see currently we are activated only three views here click on this 3d view to open 3d view you can see click on this planet 10,000 this is the planet 10,000 in the background and click on this uh, view to open background you can see planet 5,000 currently three views are visible so click on window and click on tile vertical to see all three views activated views at a time by using this tile vertically or tile horizontally okay preferable to use the tile vertically uh, for proper to see this like this okay now at a time use only two views is the better uh, for working purpose 
so for example we're going to use a planet so 3d and we can use planet 0 and now these two are activated now click on here and select this option tile vertically to see the planet 0 and planet 3d view like this okay to maximize one view then click on here to maximize like this okay now we're going to measure these dimensions uh, and compare with this example these dimensions are correct or not so click on here and select this planet 0 now we're going to check the dimensions so click on edit and click on here measure and select this option horizontal distance and pick the first point and pick the second point and use the left mouse key click on here to place the dimension you can see now here 6000 is the space be spacing between the first and second okay similarly we're going to measure remaining dimensions so pick the first point and second point by using the left mouse key and click on here to create the dimension okay do the same procedure first point and second point and click on here and coming here first point and second point and click on here you can see now horizontally we have taken these dimensions similarly we're going to take in vertical direction so click on escape to exit the command now we're going to use the vertical dimension because these uh, dimensions are in vertical direction so click on here measure and select this option vertical distance and pick the first point and pick the second point and use the left mouse key click on here to place the dimension okay similarly we're going to measure remaining dimensions pick the first point and second point and click on here pick the first point and pick second point and click on here to place the dimension click on escape to exit the command you can see now we have horizontal and vertical dimensions now we're going to cross check with the uh, given example so in our horizontal dimension we have 6000 6000 and 8000 6000 6000 and 8000 8000 and 6000 8000 6000 okay now coming to y direction we have 5000 5000 and 6000 now coming to here 5000 5000 and 6000 okay that's it we have placed these grids properly according to the example so to remove this checking dimensions you click on space right click on mouse use this option to draw view to remove this checking dimensions okay that's it now click on here window and select this 3d view to open 3d view like this okay currently we are in tab edit in the measure measuring these dimensions so now click on here steel to open the steel menu here you can see uh, column creation beam and poly beam curved beam twin profiles and uh, all types of steel structure tools are available here in our next video we'll see how to create columns different types of columns and how how to edit the columns property and how to change this column size or height or how to rotate it and everything we will see in the next tutorial okay that's it about how to create grids in tecla structures 2022 version okay if you have any doubts do you need any doubt clarification videos or requested videos please join my channel i'll provide doubt clarification videos and requested videos especially for joint members so i request you please join my channel okay thank you